Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Tonian and this is my first YouTube video. I've been wanting to start my channel in the longest time but my nerves got the best of me. So when we have completed and transformed one of our spare bedroom to what's now my new and improved walk-in wardrobe slash office, I was like what better way to actually kickstart my channel than to give you guys a tour of this beautiful space. <laughs> In today's video I'm going to tell you about the wardrobe design and how it was built. So basically I'm going to walk you through each section and talk about my thought process and how I've organized everything. This is the IKEA pack show system for those of you who don't know and I went for this as it's very easy to customize uh, your design and it was really inexpensive and let me tell you this guys I've had quotations from a few well-known wardrobe fitting companies and this would have cost me a fortune. This is also a great DIY project as all my units were built and fitted by my husband and I. And another great tip to actually take into consideration when you're actually when you're actually creating your design, you have to think about the space of the room that you actually that, that you actually have and the amount of units that you can actually fit. When I was designing my units, I thought about how much hanging space, drawers and shelving I would need to make this space work for me. Later on in this video, you'll see where I don't have a shoe storage at the moment, which mo all my shoes are actually in our main bedroom because when I was designing um, this room, I didn't have enough space for another um, unit and I had to put my dressing table and also this is where my home office is. Um, another uh, great tip, guys, if you plan on designing your unit, you can always create your design using the planner on the IKEA website or you can go to any of the store locations and someone there will assist you. There are so many ways in which you can customize these units and I'll show you further on in this video as all my units have different design and for different um, storage purposes really. Yeah, so let's get into it. Just before I get into the tour guys, I'm just gonna pop a small clip of what this room actually looks like before we did the renovations. So guys, I'll be going wardrobe by wardrobe just to show you the, uh, the, the design layout of this room and also of all the units. Uh, this one here, it's the largest unit that's available at IKEA. This is the 100 centimeter unit and it's also the tallest units that they actually offer. Um, up there you'll see that I do have a uh, shelf. I've inserted shelves in all my units um, just from my storage boxes, which I'm yet to actually insert. Uh, just below that you'll see that I do have a hanging rail. Um, 
this unit is used for my jacket, blazers, uh, jumpers and cardigans. And a great tip guys, when organizing, it's always best to use the same style and same color hangers as it makes it look loads more organized. And I also tried my best to actually color coordinate them. Just below that, you'll see that I do have a glass shelf here and I've used this to separate um, my hanging space from my drawers down there. Uh, just below there I do have a pull-out tray with a drawer organizer and this is totally optional you don't have to have that but I actually do love the idea of having it so here I have a bit of accessories and some of my jewelry and stuff like that as you can see I uh, do have another pull-out tray there and this one have a drawer divider. I chose this one because I wanted somewhere to put some of my purses, my sunglasses, belts and other accessories uh, such as my mm, tops and stuff. So yeah, that's it for that one. Down here I have four drawers and this one is the glass front drawers that they do um, that's available. In my drawers, I do have, I do use the KonMari uh, folding method. And with this method, it actually keeps everything organized and it shows you everything that you actually have in your drawers. And just a quick tip, guys, once it's folded properly, once you put it to stand, it won't fall. So that way, when you remove something and when you do your laundry or to replace it, you'll just see the space right there so it just keeps it looking organized at all time and I've used this method for all my drawers um, down here in the second one I do have some jeans uh, pants uh, rumpers and I do have uh, skirts and more jeans over this side and pants as well down below here I do have some of my uh, winter jumpers here uh, more shirts and more jeans, of course. And the last one here, I do have all the stuff that I wear on the house or, you know, if I'm doing a like, DIY project, like for that one there. So I have like um, sweatpants, uh, hoodies, t-shirts, dress, uh, play suits, and so forth in that one. So yeah, this is it for the first unit. In between my units, I do have my dressing table, and this is also from IKEA, and the lights and mirror as well. This was actually mounted uh, by my husband there, and he also ran the car there, so this is what it looks like when it's on. And I love this section of my room because I do love it when I'm getting ready. Over here I do have my makeup storage which this is actually from Amazon I think. So here I have most of my everyday makeup that is stored in there. And just in the drawer here I do have just additional makeup, uh, sponges, uh, brushes and so forth. And I'm definitely thinking about getting some drawer dividers for that as well just to keep it looking organised. Over here, I do have a, another large unit. This is another 100 centimeter unit and I put this in place because I wanted a double hanging space there. I wanted something for my short dresses and also for my shirt and some of my blouses that I don't uh, want hanging up. And yep, yeah, as you know, I tried to color coat them as best as I could. And as I said before, when you do have the same color hangers, it makes it look so much more organized. I do have a storage basket up there at the moment with uh, some of my hair products that I do use on a daily basis. Um, as you can see, I do have my shelves in up there. That one is used for my hats, which I only have two hats up there at the moment. Uh, this unit is the corner unit and this came with shelves. I replaced the shelves with a hang, ha, uh, hanging pole. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, this I wanted it to be for my long hanging, which I do have my coats and longer dresses and uh, jumpers, uh, rumpers and so forth. Uh, just below that, I 
also inserted a jeans rail and this one guys you can just pull it out put it in don't have most jeans there because it can't fit all of my jeans that is why you see most of them in my drawers anyway and this is the 50 centimeter unit which i think is the smallest one that they actually offer over here i do have the medium size um, unit which is 75 centimeter and th for this one i've used mostly shelves and drawers as i wanted somewhere to actually uh store my bags and purses as you can see there so a bit more up close this is where i have all my purses and handbags which it keeps it really tidy and just easy to get to as you can see there this section here is just used for my decor such as you know you diffuse it to keep your room smelling really fresh uh, uh perfumes candles uh, just underneath that, I do have another pull-out tray, which, as you can see, I don't have any uh, drawer dividers or jewelry um, organizer. This one, I just have um, a couple of uh, clutches and this decor piece here. <laughs> just below that, I do have a glass front drawer. And this one here is just... A bit of bits and bobs at the moment um, like you know my waxing stuff as you can see some of my perfumes are here most of them are still in the main bedroom which I need to organize this drawer anyway and get them out here I do have my sleepwear which I don't really need to get into don't need to be showing these things on YouTube here I do store my underwear and so forth don't need to go in that one either uh, just on the last one here I do have some of my dream wear my socks and hats scarves and so forth um, as I said I use Kenmar method for everything that I do um, store in my drawers and these organized uh, drawer organizers I actually got them from Ikea as well and they work out perfect for me as I could just store my socks hats scarves and so forth so yeah, that is it for all the wardrobe units, guys. This is what all the units is consist of. So as mentioned before, you can customize them however you want. And this is the style that I actually went for. So just over to the office section of the room over here um don't remember the company that I actually got my computer uh table from but i will link that if i if they still have them in stock and over here i do have this lovely white um office chair which i got from wayfair so over here is just pretty plain and simple i have my computer and yeah printers and so forth um down here i just have all the my office stuff that i use and all that and yeah just additional papers and stuff and my cloth that i used to wipe my tables down so yeah and this is the finish room guys this is the end of the tour so guys that is the end of today's video if you have any questions at all please just pop it in the comment section below and i'll reply to you as soon as i can i really 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 hope you enjoyed watching this and if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to press that notification bell so you won't miss an upload i'll see you in the next video bye